welcome. You're joining Angus and I for another Keep Moving with Emily. We are doing three, two, one, three minutes of strength, two minutes of cardio, one minute of core. We've got three different rounds. Grab your weights. You're also going to want to grab maybe like a, a box or a step like this one because we're going to be using this as well, maybe for some dips, for some step ups for cardio. Great option. Um, so yeah, we're going to get nice and warmed up and then we're going to get started. So if you're ready, let's keep moving. I'm going to turn on my music. We're gonna get warmed up and then uh, we're gonna get moving. So here we go. All right, nice little side step. Open up those arms. Good. Open up those arms nice and big. Reaching open that chest. Perfect. Good. Let's get some hamstring curl. Curl it up. Perfect. We gotta get that blood pumping. Knees up. Let's go. Drive that knee up towards your chest. Drive those arms down. Good work. Let's do some nice little tricks. Core is tight. or knee high. Good. Pull that knee. Rotate that ankle. Stretch in that hip flexor. Reach. Oh, and then press it down. A little bit of yoga-ish. Feel it in that hip flexor. Reach and down. Last one. And then we should be ready to go. If you're ready to go. Reach it up and down. While I'm talking, I want you to sidestep, do some shoulder rolls, get that body warmed up because we're moving in to round number one. It's coming up on the screen. You're ready. Three, two, one. Three minutes of strength. Two minutes of cardio. One minute of abs. Our first round is up on the screen. Okay. So how it's going to work is we're going to do a squat press. So we're using lower body and upper body. So we're going lower body, upper body. We're going 45 seconds for that first exercise, that squat to press. Then we're going to kind of do a little bit of a static hold while moving. So we're going to do a wall sit with a weighted punch across the body. Yes, that's going to be so good. Um, and then we'll do that twice through and then we'll move into our cardio portion. So I'm going to get my, my clock all set up. So grab those weights, maybe try some harder weights. We're going for 45 seconds. So gauge what you want, but if you need to put your weights, if you need to bring the weights down a little bit lower, Wait, that's totally fine, or drop it to one. That works too. All right, are you ready? We're going for three minutes straight of strength. We're going 45 seconds first of that squat press. Find what weight works for you. I'm gonna get ready in 10 seconds. I like to challenge myself, so here we go. Squat with a press. Here we go. Squat it down, press it up. Up. Sit the glute back, knees jump over those toes, press the weight up to the sky. So we're working those glutes. Quad, shoulders, all the things. Make sure we're breathing. Inhale down. Exhale. 
exhale up. Explode as you come up. Push through those heels. Shit up. 15 seconds. And then we are moved in to that wall sit. The weighted lunge. So if you want to grab some lighter weights or no weights at all, while we sit that, that wall sit, whoo, press. Drop those weights. Find your glider one. Hop on that wall. Now we're doing that static hold, a little bit like a squat. We're getting on that wall. Get those knees and feet increased. Core is tight and punch. Now, if a weighted punch doesn't work for you, drop those weights and just punch it out here. So again, we're still working upper body. Nice. You got it. Yep. We'll make sure we're working those legs, we're working those arms. You got it. Can you give me 15 more seconds here and then we're back to that squat with a press. Keep it up. Last 10. Stick with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Drop those weights. Grab those heavy ones. You can always drop them with one weight if it gets too heavy. Get those weights up onto your shoulders. We're doing that sit. Squat to a press. Now, take it down. Press it up. If you need a little bit more of a modification, grab a chair. And all you do is sit down on the chair, stand up, press those weights up to the sky. Good. This is the full body workout right here. Legs, arms, core, all the things. Nice. 20 seconds. Come on. Inhale down. Exhale up. Drop it to one weight. If you need to, if it gets too heavy, you're just here. Squat with a press. Five seconds, come on. Rest back to that weighted punch. Let's go. Find yourself to that wall. If you don't have a wall, you're just doing a squat hold. That gets a little, that gets a little challenging, but you can do it. Ready? Let's go. Weighted punch. Work in the tops of those shoulders. Bristol stays nice and tight. We're just going nice, slow, and steady. Legs are at 90 degrees. Keep breathing. Send that arm across the body. Maybe do the four. Tops of those shoulders. Biceps, triceps, everything. Nice. Keep it up. Can you give me 15 more seconds? We're right here. Hang on to it. Come on. Isometric hold right here. Up. Woo. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Move those weights out of your way. We are moving on to cardio. So we've got two moves, jump ropes and mountain climbers. We're doing each of those for 30 seconds, four rounds through. Get us to two minutes. We're doing that two minutes of cardio. So we don't want to rest too much because we want to keep that heart rate up there. All right, here we go. Two minutes of work, 10 seconds. We'll get started. So we're going to start with that jump rope. Maybe you've got those cool little cordless jump ropes. Maybe you got a real jump rope. If not, you're just hopping in place right here. I like using the cordless jump ropes because then I can guarantee a no fail jump rope interval. I usually get all tangled up and then it slows me down. Good, keep it up. We're only here for 30 seconds. You got 10 more seconds to go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those weights. You're gonna go into a mountain climber. So you can use an elevated surface or on the floor. Up to you. Get ready. I like to use an elevated surface with my shoulders and my wrists are hurting. Um, that's up to you though. Ready? Let's go. We're going to go at a nice little pace, driving that knee up towards our chest. Core stays nice and tight. You can always use a wall if you need to, or an even higher elevated surface. Keep it up. Or you're here on the floor. Oh 15 seconds to go. Come on. 10. 
change last five keep it up three two one rest real quick and you're moving on to round number two great job again we are working at 45 seconds of work here we go good job all right if you're ready for round number two we're going to be doing a deadlift with an upright row so we're gonna back leg, hip flex or hamstring, so we're reaching down and then up. Doing a deadlift row to an upright row. Whee! So you're gonna find those weights, whichever weights feel good to you. We're gonna be doing a deadlift. Reach it down, slight bend in those knees. We're gonna row, stand up to an upright row. Lots of shoulders and back here. Then we're gonna get into a bridge and do a chest press, so we're gonna chest a little bit. So pulling motion and a pumping motion for this round. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Here we go. Ready? It's a nice little deadlift. Hinge at the waist, slight bend in those knees, weights are at my thighs. I'm gonna let those weights come down to my shins, flat back, pull those elbows back, stand up, upright row. Good. Take it down, back is flat. Pull into that row, squeeze in the glutes, stand and pull up. Nice. 30 seconds to go. This is not too bad to be fast. Nice little control. Sit down. Row. Stand up. Stand up. Work in the hands straight. In the glutes. Right row and back. Last 10 seconds. We're going to drop it to the floor. We're going to bridge. Hold. Some of them want to be a 
five seconds to walk through the next little turn with us. Are you ready? Here we go. Pull it up into that hip bridge. And a nice little chest press. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale up. Squeeze those hips up. That's our isolated isometric hold. And then squeeze, hamstring. Squeeze. Keep those hips up nice and high. Dropping those elbows down to the floor and pressing up to the sky. You can always kind of rotate those wrists in for a little bit of a chest fly. Sweet dreams are made Important. of these. Keep breathing. Who am I to disagree? I travel Keep those hips up. Don't let them drop. Everybody's looking nice. for something. I can't see the clock, so I'm here with you. Keep moving. And rest. Stand up. One more time with that deadlift to a row, to an upright row. Lots of movement. You got this. We're hinging at the waist. Put the shoulders down and back. Here we go. Down to that deadlift. Up. We're going to close that row. Stand up and squeeze. Upright row. We're going to push those in. Hold those elbows up. Up and squeeze. And upright row. Nice. Sweet dreams, dreams. 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 Up to back. Sweet dreams. Talk to the shoulders. Trap. Sweet All dreams. The dreams. If we're only going to work for 30 Sweet minutes, dreams. we got to really maximize what's inside of our time. Good. Some we got to use all these major muscles. Good. One more. Down to the floor. Yeah. Back down to the floor. Chest press with the bridge. Let's do it. Ready? In three. Hips are up. Squeeze. Press those arms up and down. So we're now pressing those weights up to the sky. Weights are directly above my chest. Hips are up. Squeezing in those glutes. Inhale down. Exhale up. Again, if you want to rotate those wrists as you bring those weights together up at the top, just add a little bit more chest. Good. Keep it up. Squeeze in those hips. Lift them. You got it. Feel the burn in those legs. Sweet dreams. Glutes. Sweet dreams. Then we're going to move on to our cardio portion. Work those legs. Nice. Drop those legs. Moving on to cardio, we're going to do walk down to the knees. So, if you've got a box in the way, just get out of the way. Moving a little bit. Get ready. Woo! All right. Clear your space. We're going to work in. 30 seconds of squat jack, 30 seconds of high knees, twice through. We're going to get that heart rate up. We're going to work two minutes straight for cardio. Our little break is going to be super fast, like a five-second pain. Sweet dream. So we're going to get that heart rate Sweet up there. Dream. Ten seconds, we're going to get started. Are you ready? So again, we're going to do squat jacks. So you come out and in. Come from up and down. So we're going to go out wide. Forget it. Good. Breathe. If this is too much, you know, you just do a nice little squat tap or just do a nice little it's up to you. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep moving. We're going into Heinzman, working that balance a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Heinzman, step, step, hold. Step, step, hold. You ready? Good. Hold. I want you to hold here. Hold it nice and tight. Working our balance. Good. Is that how we're going? Back to those squat jacks. In about 15 seconds. Good. You want to speed it up? So we can. Three, two, one. Five second break. Squat jacks, squat jumps. Ready? Go. Squat. Up. Down to those ankles. Breathe. 
this, depending on your range of motion. Nice, keep it up. You got 15 seconds. And then high spin. I'm here with you. Heart rate's up there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Holy heart rate. I'm going to step to hold. If this is too much, you know, I should step. Quick step. Drive that knee. Let's go. I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to do bicycles. So don't stop. Come on. You're going to make it fun. You can move forward and backwards. Challenges are for reception. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Woo! This is the way you can measure your intensity from the top step. If you're out of breath while talking, you can't really finish sentence. It's a really good uh, way to know you're working on that high rate. So, okay, that. round number three. Is that to happen? How do we do? Bicycle! I want you to go nice, slow, controlled here, alright? We're not going speedster. For bicycle. Back is flat, knees at 90. Opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Let's go. Like twist, hold. Twist and hold. Good. All right, can you get those shoulder blades up off the mat? Extend that foot out. Heels down, toes pointed up. Slow it down even more. Really feel that core engage. Back is flat. We're twisting. Opposite elbow. The opposite knee. We got 30 seconds. You got it. We're slow and controlled here. Okay. All those are good. All the abs. Come on. Can you give me 10 seconds? I'm here with you. I feel the burn. We got one more round. You got this. Two, one. Woo! Grab some water. Find your bench or a step or some stairs and you're ready for round number three. The final round. It's the final round. So I got this cool little step. Maybe you do this. We're going to be doing dip, step up, all the things. Yeah. We're going to be working biceps, glutes, quads, all the things for a lunge curl. Then we're going to be doing a triceps. So you've got two options. You can do an overhead triceps with balance or you can do dips. Up to you. You can even do one, one round, one second. All right. And then we're going to be using that stair for some step ups. So here we go. You ready? So lunge to a curl. You're going to grab those weights. You're going to step it back into a nice reverse lunge, curl it up, and then alternate those legs. You got this. I think we're ready. We got 45 seconds of work. We got about 10 seconds of rest. Again, we're going two times through. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, you ready? 10 seconds, we're gonna get started. Grab those heavy weights. Those biceps are strong. Drop it down to one weight if you need it. Ready? Chest is up. Bring that back knee down as you curl up and switch down. Keep that chest up nice and high. Push through that front leg. As you stand up, you're going to feel it in those quads and those glutes and then those biceps. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Alternating lunge with a curl. Again, we're using every major muscle group right here burns more calories, and uh, you know, 30 minutes, we can get a lot of work in. Let's go, three, two, one. Now, you can get onto your bench and do a dip, or you got that overhead tricep extension, we gotta bring that weight over our head, and we're coming up, bending at the elbow. You wanna add in balance, that maybe that's a little bit too challenging. So maybe we're just standing nice and tall, you always go into the tall kneel. Tuck that tush in. We don't want to hurt your lower back. 
Good, keep it up. Either you're still there, or you're doing those dips. Dropping that booty to the floor. We're doing that nice little dip. 15 seconds, keep the boat. I'm gonna show you from the side what it looks like. Down and up. My arms are doing the work, not my hips. Five seconds to go. One, whoo! Rest, shake it out. One more time through. You got this. Are you ready? In 10 seconds, we're gonna get started. Bicep curls. With that lunge, last one of these, you won't see it again. Ready? Take it down. Can you keep that chest up? You drop that back knee. Curl. Get up. I like a reverse lunge. It feels better on my knee. So I can get that, that, that front knee in a safer position rather than lunging forward. Good. Curl it up. Woo! 15 seconds to go. You won't see these again. Get up. Last five, and then we're going into that overhead tricep extension. Dips, or you can do a combination of both. So you can join me. Do a little bit of both. Or just hop on that step. Or stay here. So, elbows are tucked in. Extend that weight all the way up and then down. See how the only thing that is bending and lifting are those forearms. Keep it up. You can always be in like a nice little tall kneel if you want. Up to you. Keep going. You want to switch with me and go to those dips? Go forward or stick with that overhead tricep extension. Let's go. You can always do a nice little leg extension. Incorporate those legs and those arms. 10 seconds to go. We're moving in to cardio. Woo! Two, one. Oh man. Shake out those arms. We're moving in to cardio. I know. What's a workout without burpees? I mean, come on now. So we're doing 30 seconds. Are you ready? So burpees, and then if you've got that step, we're just gonna be doing step ups like good old, you know, step aerobic days. Or if you have stairs, run those stairs for me for 30 seconds. If you've got an elliptical, hop on that for 30 seconds. It's up to you. You get to choose. We're just working for two minutes straight for that cardio. Are you ready? 10 seconds. We are going to get started. Here we go. Burpees, you can always use an elevated surface too. Use a chair, step, four. Go with hardcore. Let's go. Down, kick those feet out. Now you can just stand, or if you want more, you can hop. Yep. Let's go. Halfway, 15 seconds to go. Good work. Can you give me one more? Oh. Woo! All right. Either you're on that step, or you're on those stairs, you're on that elliptical, or you're jogging around. You ready? Woo. So I like to add a little bit of a knee drive here. It's also high option is a high knee. High march, whatever you want. Brings me back to good old step aerobics days. This is all good for the legs, glutes, core as you drive that other knee. Good. Two, one. Burpees. Again, if you want to use this elevated surface, you totally can or you're on the floor. You ready? So you're hopping it out and jumping. Keep that core nice and tight. If that's too much, you can always walk it. Up to you. Keep it up. 15 seconds. Last 
15. I'm with you. They may not look pretty, but we're gonna keep moving. Don't stop, one more. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Catch your breath. Step ups, high knees, elliptical stairs for the next 30 seconds. Let's go. You gonna make it harder? Add in a hop. Yep. Keep it up. Please don't stop moving. I'm here with you. We got one more bit of core. And we're gonna stretch it out and call it a day. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're gonna do a plank. That's right, let's play hold. You got this. 60 seconds. Drop into those knees. See you drop it into like a downward dog. Or shaking up those arms. You can do how long you can hold it for. I'm gonna jump for a minute. And you're gonna have some pussy. That's the beauty of the journey of fitness. We're all on a different journey. As long as you don't quit. Ready? Give you 10 seconds to catch your breath. Here we go. Woo! Ready? Ready? Five. Three. Two. Have those elbows directly underneath those shoulders. Glutes. Breathe. Feel it in every muscle. Squeeze in those quads. Squeeze in those shoulders. Focus on that breath. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Just think, you got 30 seconds left. Can you hang on to it? You got back flat. You got your favorite drink on your back. We don't want it to spill. Breathe. You got less than 30 seconds. Come on. Hang tight. I'm here with you. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Nice work. Push it up. That's just some time for that nice cobra. Feels good in those abs. Big breath in and out. Down. Push yourself up into a nice child pose. So sit back onto those heels. Hands are reaching forward. Good. Reach those hands forward. Sit those heels back. Feel a nice stretch in the lower back and those arms. Good. Walk those hands to the right. Drop that left hip. Feel a nice stretch all down that left side. Big breaths, reach those hands forward. And then walk those hands to the left, drop that right hip. Nice. Reach the hands forward one more time. Then we're gonna push back into that tabletop position. Arch that back up nice and high. And then as you exhale into that cow pose, arching the back, lifting the head. Getting a nice stretch in those abs. One more time, arch that back up. Feel a nice stretch in those shoulder blades. And then exhale into cow pose. Nice. Push those toes into the ground and push through the, your hands into a nice downward dog. Getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings and those calves. You can walk those feet, kind of pedal them. Good work. Bend at the knees, left hand, left foot comes outside that left hand, drop that back right knee. We're gonna step nice and tall, push those hips, feel a nice stretch in the front of that leg. You can reach those arms up if you want. Good, kinda lean to one side, feel a good stretch. Now we're gonna lean this, extend that foot forward into a nice little pyramid hamstring stretch. Rock it back forward into that nice long lunge. Really feel a stretch in that back leg. Good, push it back into downward dog. 
Bend at the knees, right foot comes outside that right hand this time. Drop that back knee, sit up nice and tall and push that pelvis forward. Get a nice stretch in the hip flexor. Feels good to get the body moving. Big breath in and out. Good, and we're gonna lean back into that nice little hamstring stretch. We'll reach for that toe if you can. Feel a nice stretch on the back of that leg. Oh, it feels good. Rock it back into that nice long lunge. Sink a little bit deeper if you can. Trying to bring that elbow to that ankle or the ground. Good. All right, push up into downward dog one more time. Then we're gonna walk those hands towards those feet into a nice forward fold. Good work. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. Some shoulder rolls. Grab onto a wall. We're doing a nice quad stretch. Getting a nice stretch in that hip flexor and the top of that quad. Good work. And switch. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you got a nice full body workout, all the cardio, strength, and core for a nice 30 minutes. You killed it. Take a big breath in. Reach those hands up. Exhale. And I want you to feel really proud of yourself because you just got a nice workout in. If you had a bad day, you took it out right now. Channel that energy, channel that stress into your workouts. It's a really good, healthy way to manage stress. So make it a great day. Join me back for another Keep Moving with Emily. And thanks for joining me. See you next time.